meat, bacon. Honestly, do I need to say much more? Follow me to Flavorland and hold on tight. This is gonna be a delicious ride. First off, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You're gonna place some raw bacon on a sheet pan and bake that for 20 minutes. I have a history of setting off the fire alarm every time I cook bacon. So I figured out when I cook it this way, I get crispy, tasty bacon every time. And your roommates will thank you for not sending them into a life-threatening panic at 8 a.m. on a Saturday. JK, I'm not up that early. Get a large bowl and add your ground beef. You want an 80-20 ratio, 80% meat, 20% fat. It's a great mix for meatloaf. Once the bacon is drained and cooled, crumble it directly into the bowl. I'm gonna crumble this last one right here. Yeah, you wanna get all nice and bitty. Mm -hmm. So you have nice little bacon bits inside your meatloaf. And that's for me. We're gonna add some shredded cheddar. Throw it right in there. I got another half a cup of cheddar right here, but we're gonna save that for later. You're gonna add plain breadcrumbs and an egg, and then we have our McCormick spices. Some ground mustard right in there. Onion powder, garlic powder, ground black pepper, and of course, some salt. Mix everything together until the dry ingredients are fully combined. And by mix everything, I mean with your hands. <laughs> yes, break that egg. Ooh, yes. This is nice. Huh? So get everything combined. You want all those bacon bits, you want all the cheese, and while you're doing that, you're gonna shape it into a loaf. You know, the whole meat loaf thing. Ah. All right, so I gotta foil this pan real quick. I'm gonna go wash my hands, come right back. So I'm doing this in a shallow baking pan with some foil. It's for easy cleanup, as opposed to that traditional loaf pan. This will stop the meatloaf from absorbing all the grease as it cooks, and it'll help to brown it on all sides. Plus, you don't have to deal with the meatloaf tug of war once it's done. Why? Once the loaf is on the pan, we're gonna smother it with French's ketchup. All that ketchup, yeah. Who doesn't love ketchup? Or that sound it makes. All right, now that I'm all smothered, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for 45 minutes. So let's go grab our meatloaf out the oven. And that's looking pretty. And guess what we're gonna add? More cheese. I stay cheesing. Let's do that, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there. So once our cheese is on top, we're gonna pop this back in the oven for another 10 or 15 minutes. <laughs> Look at that cheesy, meaty, bacony goodness. Let it sit for five more minutes and then dig right in. Click the link below and subscribe for more non-fire-inducing dinner recipes that your roommates and landlord will love.